natural gut is the nicest tennis string, but it's a little bit much all on its own. So we've got it hybrided both ways to see which is best. Today we are investigating the best way to hybrid a natural gut string. Yes, we have got Babalat VS Touch and Luxalon's Alu Power, a very common combo. Yeah, now natural gut, there's, there's some options. VS Touch is kind of renowned as the original, the best. It's almost 100 years old, won how many Grand Slams? Over 100 Grand Slams, I mean one with it in, in players' rackets. And therefore it must be the winningest string. I, I can't stand the word winningest, so sorry, it just can't happen. <laughs> it just it can't happen. Be. Yeah, it must be, but it can't happen. Okay, so, uh, so to do this experiment, we have strung two of our V-Core 100s. We have weighted and balanced them. They are exactly the same in every single way. Um, we have, as we said, VS Touch. Uh, I have it here in the mains yes. with Alu Power as the cross. Yeah, and in my version, we have just got it reversed. So we've got Alu Power in the mains and VS Touch in the crosses. And we're just going to find out which one we prefer, if there is a significant difference, because there is a lot of argument amongst the Tennis Cognoscenti about which way round it should go. There's going to be different playing characteristics, it's going to feel different, but can we tell and how much difference is there going to be? Yeah, so before we get into the test, just to be super clear, mm -hmm. it's VS Touch 1.3 yes. uh, in both and it's also Alu Power 1.3 and they were strung at uh, 50 pounds by the same stringer on the same machine with the same air pressure. It was exactly the same. So it is as scientific as it gets. We are going to put them both through their paces and see which one we would enjoy the most. And actually to top it off, we do have the full bed um, VS Touch available as well. So we've got that as a reference point between the two, which one plays most like it, um, which characteristics do you gain, do you lose. We're here to give you all the answers once we have tested. So we have just got off court play testing, natural gut and alu power hybrided both ways. Yes, and we have done this in the past with a blend of co-polys. So we use it just to get the terminology, make sure we're all on the same page. A blend is when they are both the same material. So we could blend VS Touch and Wilson Natural. Exactly. And a hybrid is two different types of tennis strings. So when we did the blend, there was a very, very subtle difference. And I initially report a bigger difference between the two hybrids. Yeah. I couldn't actually believe how different they felt. Yes. And also, as, as we said, we had the full bed uh, natural gut as well at the same mm -hmm. time. All three completely different, completely different in how they played, how they felt, what benefits you got. Um, very surprising experience all around. Yes. So before we delve into the detail, uh, we are going to try and unpack that initial feeling of why are these so different now obviously natural gut like we said the vs touch 99 years ago it was released and a long time ago. yeah and i think tennis has probably moved on a no. little bit yeah I, if you well, think about alu power is like 30 years old well and i think this is the key point so alu power at 30 years old it came out and it revolutionized tennis there's um, sampras even went as far as nearly accusing players of cheating using it because it changed things so much and i think the reason it was required is because a full bed of vs natural gut in a modern tennis racket just seems a little bit wild a little bit much when you were playing in 1925 with a wooden racket it probably felt amazing and was needed but not so much anymore yeah, I think it's the modernization of the game, the increase in spin, because natural gut, you don't generate that much spin. Um, and obviously the ability to shape polys, you think like RPM, blast, etc., kind of brought a whole new a whole new dimension to the modern game in terms mm -hmm. of that spin you could get. And so that's where suddenly the natural gut kind of lost out a little bit. Yes, so straight away, I preferred both of these over the full bed of natural gut. I did too. Yes, but then we differ, don't we, on which way round? Yeah, and I think this is, um, to, to, Tom, what to be expected that they were so different, because when we did the blend test, and we've done a hybrid test between multifilament and polyester, which way round those are before, and we concluded that the mains are 
much more important, more, more influential into the overall characteristics. So what we posited was something like a 75 to 25%. And, and that explains it because alu power as a polyester is the polar opposite to natural gut. They are properly hybrid, they're properly two ends of the spectrum. So when you've got them opposite way around, they play way like the other one. Yes, so if we say a full bed of VS Touch is about as powerful and as feely as you can get, feely. the question is, like <laughs> yeah, the question is, how much do you want to temper that power down? And that's basically which way round you're going to set up your hybrid. Uh if you want to put a full massive swing into the ball, you're going to want to put alu power in the mains to just bring some control back. If you're kind of in the between, you're going to go for the, the mains with the VS touching and the natural gutting because it's just doing more of the work. The main strings, I guess there's probably a clue in the name, seem to have more impact on the playability than the crosses. So the people may not have realized uh, which way around we both sit on this. Uh, so for clarity, which one are you choosing? So I would definitely go this way around. Me right. Um, natural gut in the mains. Um, it feels more like natural gut and natural gut's huge selling point is its beautiful feel. And this still feels like natural gut, just with a bit of control. Enough control for me to go, yep, yeah, this is exactly what I want. Yeah, I'm a little bit different. Um, whilst I and I really liked both, I think that's probably the, the first bit to add. I really enjoyed using both, but when the poly is on the mains, you get. I maybe just what we used, to, what I'm used to, having played with so much, so many poly strings. That feeling of like stiffer, tighter, more controlled. It's almost like a safety blanket. Yeah. As soon as I had it, I was like, oh, right, yeah, this is tennis. I, every, like, the, the, the string bed felt more controllable. I could generate good amounts of spin. It was generally very good. The other reason why I think I prefer the poly main is I think you get more spin. Yeah. VS I mean, you get more spin in both anyway. Yes, natural gut is this big criticism, apart from the price, is the lack of spin. So mm -hmm. as soon as you uh, hybrid with a polyester, you are going to get a lot of string back. And that was kind of, it instantly felt more like a regular modern tennis setup, didn't it? As soon yeah. as you put it in, because of that spin coming back. When it comes to power, the most important thing on a tennis court, which one do you think generates more power? Definitely the, we're going to call it the VS mains, the natural gut mains. And I, that is, I, I accept that, I agree, that is the more powerful, mm -hmm. more effortless yep. uh, option. Spin. spin! Opposite? Yeah, I would think, yes, I think you get more spin out of the Alu Power mains, um, less spin when it's a natural cut on the yeah. mains. And again, it ma that makes perfect sense. The, the science and the logic is supported with the actual feel and when you're playing and the, what you can see and like coming towards you and going away. Definitely more spin when you have the Alu Power in the mains. Touch, feel, deliciousness. So I'm gonna say this is almost a tie. They feel different, but equally good. Yeah, and this is maybe where we differ. Mm. I can accept that the natural gut mains feels more like a natural gut, which has ultimate feel. Yes. So the touch is amazing, but I prefer the feeling of impact when it's been hybrided with the Alley Power on the mains. Yeah. Yeah, so this one is very, very much going to be personal preference, I think. There's no sort of, there's no reason why you should prefer one over the other. It's just going to be that kind of, as yeah. you're striking the ball, go, oh yeah, yeah, this is the one. And that's exactly what we found, wasn't it? It was, yeah. we were passing them back and forth and trying them out. And there wasn't a huge difference, but there was enough to go, yeah, I prefer that one. Yeah, well, no, I think there was a difference. I think the, feel, the, the difference in feel was quite big and I enjoyed the feeling of both. It's just very different. And I think on different days and different conditions, if you were timing the ball better or worse, different surface, you could easily then prefer the opposite way around, hmm. I think. Control. Well, control kind of has to be the opposite to power. And again, logic is correct on this one. 100% yeah. more control with value power in the mains, exactly what we expected, and again, played out in reality. Yeah. 
And I think when you consider all those things together, you can see why we liked both and they're very close overall, but just depending on your playing characteristics, you end up preferring one over the other. Yes, so I guess that is ultimately the point. Josh plays a little bit bigger. He hits the ball a little bit harder, generally looking for a bit more power. So he's gonna prefer the setup, which gives a little bit more control. Yep. I am the opposite way around. So I prefer the setup that gives me a little bit more power. They both feel great. They both get plenty of spin. There's just variations within the theme that are gonna be entirely up to you to decide which one you prefer. So in summation, the hybrided natural gut alley power combo is a delightful way of stringing your tennis racket. Yep, but it's very, very difficult to say which is best. It is almost certainly personal preference. The one big benefit that we can agree on is that there is a significant price save by doing a hybrid without losing too much of the natural gut benefit. Well, but only if you go with the natural gut mains. Yes. So, and that's, I think, my, my overall conclusion. If you've tried natural gut for bed, if you had that pleasure, and if you haven't, you should, um, but you don't want to pay for a full bed natural gut so that the slash is going to break, then I would go with Ben's setup, natural gut in the mains, and maybe even a multi-filament in the crosses, um, but or a polyester in the crosses to help. If, though, you like polyester strings, you like the control and spin they give you, but you want to improve the feel of them, then this is a really lovely way to go. Yep. Um, so it depends kind of which way you're coming, how you want to use the gut to make it feel more gutty, or you want to f make a polyester string feel nicer. Yep. Um, and those are kind of your two options. There we go. Give it a try. Let us know how you get on. Those comments below are often read, many times laughed at, and always appreciated. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and you will see us soon.